Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and Phantom Wallet now supports Ethereum and Polygon chains. So I'm going to test out these new features in their beta version. So let's get started. So Phantom is a great Solana wallet that you can use to store, stake, and swap Solana. It's supported in the mobile version and in the browser, but they've recently added the Ethereum and Polygon chains. You'll notice here on their homepage that they have support for Ethereum and Polygon coming. Well, I have a beta code, so I'm gonna go ahead and activate my beta code and try this out. And if you're interested, I'll leave my beta code down in the description below so that you can give it a try and try out these new features. So we'll go ahead and start with the mobile version. Let's start with a standalone wallet that you've just downloaded. So we can go over to the App Store and search for uh, Phantom. All right, and there it is. You'll want to just go ahead and download that. All right, and once you've got it downloaded, you can go ahead and open it up. I like to support Face ID, makes it easier to interface with the wallet. All right, now you'll notice down there at the bottom that they have redeem beta code. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, redeem my code so we can get started. And of course, if my code has already been used up and you still want to try out the beta, you can join the wait list by entering your email there. We'll go ahead and redeem this. And there we go, so Phantom is now multi-chain. I'm gonna go ahead and create a brand new wallet. When you create a brand new wallet in Phantom on your mobile, it's going to store the private key on your device. Uh, this is safe and secure, but if something happens to your device, you might lose access to your crypto unless you have it backed up. If you back it up, then you'll be able to restore your wallet to a different device. So I'll start with a new wallet and it's going to give me a backup phrase. I've got uh, Face ID enabled, we'll hit next. All right, there's my backup phrase, it's 12 words. I'm gonna go ahead and write that down on a piece of paper and store it in a safe place. All right, and once you've written your phrase down, we'll go ahead and uh, tap that button that says I saved it. All right, it's gonna ask us to confirm that. And there we go, we've got our brand new wallet set up. We'll just agree to the terms of service and click get started. I'll go ahead and enable push notifications. And there we go. Notice we've got three different chains there. We've got Ethereum, Polygon, and Solana. So the first thing I'll do is play around with the settings. I'm gonna go into the settings and see if I can't uh, rename this wallet, which I can. Well, let me see if it'll let me use two words. Looks like it. All right, so there you go. And so there's quite a few settings here. We've got the address book for uh, addresses of people that we want to send crypto to or our exchanges uh, if we want to make it easier. Got security and privacy where we can export the private key or show the recovery phrase if you don't write it down. You can also reset the wallet from here. I've got notifications on, don't have any trusted apps yet, and a couple other little things there. All right, if we look at the bottom, you've got the uh, wallet balances down there on the bottom right. Uh, the next one over with the four squares are the NFTs. Uh, we've got the swap section, recent activity, and a little web browser in there. Let's get the wallet funded. Let's try the buy here. So it looks like we can buy Solana or US dollar coin. I'll try Solana. Let's say I want to buy $100 worth of Solana. And I've got MoonPay or Coinbase Pay. So you're going to need to get signed up for these services if you want to use this buy feature. And you will need to provide KYC information, uh, identifying information like IDs, uh, personal information. This is for the third party services. You can't just buy uh, crypto with fiat anonymously, right? You're going to have to sign up and identify yourself. Now, if you want to just use the wallet and fund it 
from existing wallets or cryptocurrency exchanges, then you don't have to sign up for these services to use the wallet. So for example, if we want to use Coinbase Pay, uh, you'll log in to your Coinbase account from here. I have two-factor on my Coinbase. All right, and then I'll just authorize access to my Coinbase account. All right, and so you can see that I've logged into my Coinbase account uh, through the app, and I can uh, make a purchase of $100. All right, so source of funds. I've got all the bank information that's connected to my Coinbase account right here at my fingertips, so I can fund the wallet that way if I want to. So I can go ahead and fund a purchase from my uh, bank account. There we go. And it's going to go straight into my Phantom wallet. It's going to buy the Solana and go straight into my wallet. You'll notice there's a 50 cent fee from Coinbase, a very small network fee. Solana is a very cheap network. So it's only going to cost me an extra 50 cents on top of that 100. That's not too bad. So if you don't want to use the in-app connection, you can also simply transfer from your cryptocurrency exchange directly. So uh, I could just grab the address of my Solana wallet, hit deposit here, copy that address into my clipboard, and then go over to my Coinbase account directly and uh, slide over to your Coinbase account. Go ahead and do a send and paste in the address of your uh, Phantom wallet. All right, and as you can see, Solana fees are pretty cheap. So you could just uh, send your Solana from anywhere that you've purchased it, be it Coinbase, Binance US, Binance, Kraken, Gemini, wherever you have your crypto on an exchange, you can easily transfer it into this wallet. Okay, there we go. So there are a lot of different ways to fund the wallet. And you can see that the Solana has arrived in the wallet. You can do the same thing with Ethereum. If you generate the Ethereum address, you can copy it into your clipboard. Or if you want to uh, grab the address uh, using a desktop app, you can simply share it with yourself. All right, so you'll have access to that address and you can send yourself some Ethereum. Do the same thing with Polygon. So copy the address into your clipboard, use an app, or use the in-app uh, purchase feature, or you can share the address. So I can take this address and I can use either the uh, Ethereum network or the Polygon network. So for the Ethereum network, I have a bit of Ethereum here. I'll just send that. And I'll paste in the address of my Phantom wallet. All right, I'll just send a small test amount to make sure everything's working. All right, and I can do the same thing on the Polygon network. If I switch over to Polygon, basically I would use the same technique. Send some Polygon, just paste in that same address. But I'm on the Polygon network in my MetaMask it will send my Matic on the Polygon network. Once again, I'll do a small test transaction to make sure everything's going to get over there. And there we go. So the Matic came into the wallet right away. And the Ethereum also arrived. All right, so I can use all three chains. I'll go ahead and try to connect to a couple of the popular dApps. Let's try Uniswap. All right, there's Uniswap. All right, we're going to go ahead and connect the wallet. They will eventually have a phantom icon here, but in the meantime, we can use MetaMask. And you see that it is connected to my phantom wallet, and I can swap tokens on Uniswap by whatever tokens are... Uh, available on Uniswap directly within this wallet. So that's pretty cool. All right, for example, I can uh, trade Ethereum for Ape. 
see, notice my network fees are very high on the Ethereum network. But I'll go ahead and uh, prove this. And there you see the record of the swap is right there in the wallet. And it shows my ape coin. So you can trade uh, on the Ethereum network, uh, Uniswap. I know the Ethereum fees are a bit high, but uh, there's a lot of opportunities and functionality on the Ethereum network. Let's try Polygon. So let's try a Polygon uh, DEX like uh, QuickSwap. We'll go ahead and connect here. Okay. So you can see there's the balance of my Matic in my Phantom wallet. I could make a trade here if I wanted to. I'll just do a quick test here. I trade about half of my Matic for another Polygon token. We'll hit swap here. Now we can approve this. All right, that went through. We can just close this out and go back over here to the wallet. And now you see that uh, I've got that uh, Polygon token. Notice the icon down there. Uh, you know, for the Ape coin, it's got the Ethereum icon. For the uh, ALI token, it has the uh, Polygon icon. So I can keep track of uh, which tokens belong to which network. And of course, as always, you can swap on the Solana network uh, right in the wallet. Uh, the uh, Phantom wallet has a built-in Solana swap. Like for example, if you want to buy another Solana token, you can do that in the swap section of the wallet. Notice I've got a token now that's a Solana-based token, has the little Solana icon on there. So very versatile wallet. So they've introduced the two new chains, Ethereum and Polygon, which make this wallet very powerful and flexible. All right, so I dropped a couple of NFTs that I had in other wallets in here just so I could take a look at them. This is a Ethereum-based NFT, and this is a Solana-based NFT. So if we tap on them, they look pretty good give you all the information about it. You can send and receive NFTs very easily in this wallet. You could even connect to sites like uh, OpenSea if you want to purchase NFTs. Notice they have the uh, Solana chain for Phantom, but you can use MetaMask and it will connect you with your Phantom wallet. So you can see there that uh, I've got my tokens available. I'm connected to OpenSea. And I have access to all of my assets. I don't have any wrapped ETH right now, and I don't have uh, much of a balance in my wallet. But if I wanted to purchase NFTs on the go using Phantom, I could do it from here. And notice they, I even have access to my Polygon from here. So I could buy uh, Polygon-based NFTs here. I could always switch over to the uh, Phantom Solana-based wallet as well if I wanted access to my Solana balance to purchase NFTs on OpenSea. So a very versatile and flexible wallet. Uh, it now supports the Ethereum and Polygon chains you can store your Solana, Polygon, Ethereum assets in the wallet. Uh, you can connect to DEXs and make trades, swaps. Uh, you can also purchase NFTs by connecting to uh, NFT marketplaces. So a really exciting new feature in the Phantom wallet. I invite you to check it out. Uh, grab my uh, beta code down below in the description if you want to try out these new features. And uh, good luck to everybody out there. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.